Hello there, patrons and subscribers to my channel. Uh, just a quick video. Um, I suppose a little bit of a survey as to what you may think I should do next. Uh, as in the next major project. I, I know I haven't quite finished with the MIDI yet. I still need to make a uh, probe for it and also I need to make um, or connect rather the spindle up to the SMC. Uh, and there's probably a few other things I want to do and I will continue working with the uh, MIDI um, but I'm in a bit of a quandary because um, what I did find uh, with uh, making the the MIDI was my if I can spin you around with it you get too giddy uh, my little CNC mill fabulous little thing done a lot of work with it but it's very limited in its footprint which is about uh, in reality I think it's about 200 and what is it about 230 or 225 I think it is in uh, the X and uh, in reality it's 107 uh, in the Y uh, you know the, the Z is fine um, but I did find it very limiting um, to make parts for the MIDI now not not impossible you know I, I, I it's, it's okay <laughs> um, but what I'm trying to say is now I do you know plans for this year is for me to uh, construct one of two larger projects and that is either a something like um, probably another a, a CNC router um, that's you know larger than the, the MIDI uh, which I'm sort of thinking I'm going to dub the maxi <laughs> um, for want of a better word and I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere in the region of uh, um, uh, you know a meter by a meter and uh, uh, probably 150 mil maybe 200 200 mil uh, in the Z, um, I, I'm not really sure. Um, maybe four foot by four foot. It'll be somewhere around there, quite a bit bigger. And um, you know, the the, the MIDI is robust enough uh, for its size, but uh, I intend to make the larger model much more uh, rigid uh, to handle something like a three kilowatt spindle and um, yeah probably running servo motors now that's going to be a much more expensive machine to build um, I'm sort of budgeting for about oh, three and a half, it's going to run between three and a half and four thousand dollars. Because the you know <laughs> as the size goes up, um, it exponentially the price goes up. So if you're gonna if you're gonna build something, there's any you know if it's decent, if you're gonna build it decently, like I did the MIDI for its size. Um, you know, it's if, you, if you're going to build it four times the size of the MIDI, well, it's going to be near, you know, three and a half to four times the cost. Um, so there's that. I'm sort of thinking, okay, 
Um, I'm looking into parts for that. Probably going to be um, NEMA 34's um, um, probably closed loop servo drives. So, uh, you know, that, that's why it, it pushes the price up. Um, or, now to assist me to make that, I'm going to bring you around here in the dark, I think, is my uh, big manual mill. I hold you up there. Now, this has a footprint of 500 millimeters in the X travel and 220 in the Y and the, the Z is, oh, I think that's 400 and something. And, you know, this is a <laughs> solid machine. It's uh, a big square. Can you see that? Big square dovetailed um, column. You know, if you're thinking of getting something like this, don't get the round column. They flex. These don't. And, you know, they're not that much more expensive. This is, you know, this is sold around the world. Uh, you see the name on here, you know, Hafco. Um, sold by Hair and Forbes in Australia. I've had this 22 years. Might be 23 years. Somewhere around there. Never failed. Well used. <laughs> But it's not worn out or anything like that. There's no wear in the, the ways or anything like that. I keep it well lubricated, as you can see. It's a, a bit grubby. Um, I, I'm seriously thinking of converting this to CNC. Um, probably keeping the original, um, the original drive motor that's two horse. Um, or a 1.5 kilowatt. Um, it's got six speed, you know. I mean, this will chew into anything you want, got a mind to put in it. 4140. Um, I do a lot of aluminium work, but you know, the footprint on this is as big as a tall Mac 1100. You know, uh, you know, it's it's. Physically, size of the machine itself is about the same as a Tormac 1100. Um, and you can pick these up for about three grand. Now, to convert this to CNC, again, it would be... I'll take you around in the daylight, or where it's lighter. Again, uh, if I were to convert that to CNC, would be uh, NEMA 34s and again it would be uh, servo drives or closed loop uh, servo drives um, and uh, you know running on probably Mac 4 I don't know what you guys think I don't mind putting in Mac 3 or Mac 4 um, yeah I'm still working with the uh, SMC, uh, it's, uh, I'm very happy with that too. And it would have no problem running a larger machine at all. Uh, full size machine, uh, as in, you know, a full CNC rotor of, uh, you know, sort of three meters by um, uh, 1.3. Uh, full size, no problem at all. Um, but, I, you know, I know that, uh, let's change arms, this one's beginning to ache a bit. Um, so, you know, can I have some thoughts from you guys? So really, that's about it, you know, a bit of, uh, sort of a heads up of uh, letting you know that, uh, well, there are two, um, two things in the pipeline that, uh, you know, I sort of got in mind, like, uh, you know, the larger uh, CNC router. Um, we'll call it a four foot by four foot, but it's probably going to be uh, about a meter or 36 inches, something like that. 
Uh, because as long as it's a big workshop, I'm running out of space. <laughs> you know, um, I, I've sort of I got my workshop split up into several areas where I work. Uh, for doing different types of work like uh, you know the corner over there is uh, laser and uh, where I've just been where the the, the metal machine is and the, the big lathe um, you know is for metal and I've sort of got a walled off area because if I make any sparks or anything like that you know nothing's going to catch fire <laughs> and over this side or, or you know the other Two thirds of the workshop is, you know, devoted to uh, CNC routing. I do cut aluminium here, as you know, uh, and brass with the CNC machine. Um, but uh, yeah, wood, you know, and wood dust and sawdust. And although I do try to keep it uh, clean, it's difficult sometimes. Um, so. Yeah, there's those two projects, and uh, you know, just give me a, send me a little bit of input if you if you'd like to, um, of well, what you'd like to see, or what interests you guys, and um, I'll sort of price them all both up, and uh, we'll come to some decision together. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So uh, just you know, sort of. Um, to say hi and uh, I, I must uh, say thank you guys uh, you know uh, for being there uh, because in this time uh, you know, especially now with COVID and uh, different other things going on uh, you know with countries China <laughs> Australia <laughs> having a bit of a festy gaff and yeah, you know, things are getting a little bit uh, awkward. Uh, and of course, you know, the uh, the ad revenue just isn't there anymore. Um, uh, you know, two things I think hit us. That was, uh, you know, the, um, the uh, online uh, protection for kids. Which, uh, you know, I'm all in favour of, but unfortunately, the unfortunate side of it, you know, the, the big uh, ad revenue guys just pulled out and uh, left us all high and dry. So, uh, you know, it's uh, you guys that uh, are keeping, well, me... Uh, going making videos and putting content out there and I thank you very much and uh, I'd like to say a big hi to the the new guys as or new people have just come in uh, since Christmas uh, I think there's about uh, um, about let me see about 15 I think 15 people have come in since Christmas uh, thank you guys and hi and uh, well, I'm starting to gab on a bit now, so um, thank you. Thank you for being there, and uh, I really do appreciate it. So if you could give me some feedback uh, about uh, what you think you'd like to see, um, well, we'll make a joint decision together, okay? So uh, all right then, Just bye for now. <laughs>